Hello, this is Armando Costa, Dell Hadoop Product Manager. Today what I want to do is walk you through our Dell EMC Ready Bundle for Cloudera Hadoop. This is one of our top selling solutions in the Validated Systems Group. And what I'd like to do today is just give you a high level overview. Uh, we won't go do deep dive into any uh, technology, but what I want to do is help you understand where this works, where you should position to customers, and really why it should matter and why you want to position this solution here. So with that, before we get into the solution, let's just start with helping you understand why this is important to customers. We recently took a survey called the Dell Global Technology Index. And this Dell Global Technology Index, what we wanted to do is really understand if customers knew how to take advantage of data and became data driven, does it really make a difference to their bottom line? And what we're able to see here is that if customers become data driven, what they actually saw was an increase of 50% revenue growth compared to our competitors that were less data intensive and less data driven. So the key message here is that if you have an organization that says, I want to become data driven, I want to do the digital transformation, listen up and pay attention to that customer because it's very important to start a partnership with them and start a relationship with those customers. Now on the opposite end, those customers that are taking advantage of their data, like I said, have a 50% higher revenue growth. But the other thing that we learned from this Dell Global Technology Index is that there's still a lot of customers there that don't know how to get started. One fact here that we found out is that 44% of organizations know that they need to do something around big data, they just don't know where to start. And so this is where our opportunity lies. So what we wanna be able to do is go and approach these customers that don't have a data plan yet and don't know how to become data driven or take on the digital transformation Here's our opportunity to go and help those customers and add value. And how do we help our customers become data driven? And the thing we want to help you understand with big data, this is a journey and it begins with a single step with the first use case. And with that first use case, what we want to be able to do is we really want to help our customers to align IT and business goals. We want IT to understand how they're going to support the business and then we want business to understand how IT will support them. Not only that, by introducing big data technologies into their environment, we want them to help them drive what we call improved operational efficiency. And we want, what we mean by that is that we want to be able to introduce big data technologies at the same time while taking cost out of their operations so that it can still show the value to the business. And not only that, you know, show the value so the business will continue to invest in these big data projects. And once they take this first use case over time, we want them to develop that skill set around big data. And by doing this, this will allow them to transform their organization and come to new, some new insight that they've never been able to deliver before. And this is our goal here, to help our customers become data driven, not only so they can increase their revenue, but also so they can get that competitive differentiation in the market. So when we talk about big data, we wanna to try to help simplify the conversation. Big data is complex. A lot of customers are scared. They don't know how to have the conversation. They don't know where to start. And so what we really try to do here is really simplify the conversation and we break it down into three easy steps. So the first step here is what type of data do you want to go and analyze and where does that data sit or where does it originate? Is it in a database? Is it in social media? Is it sensor data, you know, based on an IOT use case, Internet of Things? Or is it some external source or is it in the cloud? The next step there is once we identify the data source and, you know, the data source that a customer wants to go and analyze, the next step is to help them take that next step is how do you move that data and how do you prepare that data for analysis? And so when you bring a piece of data into your organization, what you're really trying to do is integrate that piece of data. You want to aggregate that data to all the right people so they can look at that data and make a decision on it. And then last but not least, you want to transform that data so you can get it into a good ready state to be analyzed. Now, when you take the next step, step three is, you know, how do you analyze data? And the thing we want to help you understand here at Dell is that, you know, there's many different ways to analyze a piece of data, whether you're putting that in an analytical engine whether you're putting that in an enterprise data warehouse, whether you're building that in a business intelligence, you know, relational management database, or if you're trying to speed up the process in that memory computing. The goal here is that we want our customers to take these three steps so they can get to the analysis. That analysis can get to, you know, be done with many different tools depending on where the customer is invested. And the goal here is we want to help them get something analyzed so they can get to that new insight so that way they can transform that business and get to some new insight that they've never had before. So, you know, how do we really help our customers do this? And it goes back to that key you know, point I made earlier in the presentation is we want to make sure that we align business and the IT goals. And here at Dell EMC, you know, our, our goal here is to help these organizations improve outcomes, control cost, and empower users. And so how does Dell EMC do that? 
First, we help them break down the data silos. The only way customers are going to get to new insights if they're able to look at all their data across their organization, not just one piece of data. Not only that, when you look at big data, you know, there's a lot of heartache around it and a lot of big data projects tend to fail. And so what we want to be able to do help our customers is really mitigate that risk and help them control costs so that they're not throwing their money away. And so what we try to do here is really help them reduce the total cost of ownership, seamlessly integrate into the tools they have today, which will obviously deliver greater ROI. And then last but not least, like I said, it's about empowering the users, right? Provide them a secure anywhere, anytime data access and data analytics so they can improve productivity. They can come to new, some new insights so that they can change their business and affect the bottom line. So what we've done here is just set it up for you. Why is big data important? Why are customers looking at it? How do we simplify the conversation? And then last but not least, what's a Dell EMC difference? Now, the next part of the presentation, what I'd like to do is give a little bit deeper dive into our Dell EMC Cloud Era Hadoop solutions. And so first, what I want to do is just kind of give you a level base of, you know, foundation of what this thing is and why did we do it? So when you look at the Dell EMC Ready Bundle for Cloud Era Hadoop, the big idea here is that we're really trying to simplify all the front end work for our customers. So we want to simplify the architecture, design, planning, configuration of how you build this together. Now, the reason that this is important, and this is a Gartner stat, is that through 2018, Gartner predicts that 70% of Hadoop deployments will fail to meet cost or savings or revenue objectives because there's a lack of skill set and there's many integration challenges. So what we want to do is we want to prevent this from happening to our customers, and we want to help them out. And when you look at it from a customer's point of view, what we continue to hear from customers is they're challenged by a lack of Hadoop expertise and skill set. They understand that they need to go do something different. They understand that there's value in Hadoop, but the problem is they just don't know how to get there. And what we see customers doing a lot is treading water and really they're spending all their time on the front end work. And what I mean by that, they're spending all their time trying to build it, design it, choose the right server, try to choose the right network switch. What we want to do is say, hey, customer, build it the Dell EMC way and save yourself a lot of heartache and resources and time and effort. And that way you can get to the real value, which is the use case and your data. And so how do we solve this? Well, we decrease the time to value. If you use our architecture, you're gonna easy, you're gonna find it easy to implement. It's tested, it's true, it's validated. We've been doing it since 2011. It works, it's not a science project. And so that leads into reducing the risk, right? We don't want our customers to fail at Hadoop. What we wanna do is help them enable that so that they start to develop those big data use cases and increase you know, their knowledge and insights with their data. And so our big deal here is to reduce the risk, you know, mitigate that risk, help them show them how to do it in an easier way, how to get it up and running, faster time to value. And then of course, control costs, right? We know that businesses just don't wanna throw essentially money at big data projects. They want to essentially invest wisely. They want that big data project to pay off. They want to show the total cost of ownership and they want to show the goodness to the business so that business will continue to invest in these big data use cases. And what's our message to our customers, Dell EMC message? Our message is clear. Our message is this, that infrastructure and expertise matter. We've been doing this since 2011. We were the first tier one partner to do this with Cloudera. We're on our 18th iteration of our EMC Dell, Dell EMC Ready Bundle. And so what we're able to do here is it's tried and true. This is not a science project. We know what we're doing. And so what customers should do is they should leverage our expertise so that they can design, architect, and configure it much, much faster. And so they can solve that skills gap and actually do something with these big data and Hadoop clusters. So what is our solution built from? So we have a Dell EMC Ready Bundle for Cloud or Hadoop. As I stated earlier, we've been doing this since 2011. We're on our 18th iteration of this. And when you look at our Cloud Era Ready Bundle, we actually have a couple of different offerings here. So first, let me start on the server platform side. So for customers, we can either you know, run this on an R730XD. The R730XD gives you a good balance of memory, CPU, and disk so that you can essentially run many different Hadoop workloads on top of this node. Or for those customers that say, I'm bought into Hadoop, I want the most Hadoop density per rack, you know, give me all you got. Well, then we also uh, integrated the FX2 platform there as well. And so when you look at FX2, this is what we call a shared infrastructure platform. And so the goal here is that you have multiple servers sharing sheet metal, power supplies, and fans to get economies of scale and scope. Not only that, we also have dedicated solutions. Uh, one is the ETL offload solution. And this is based on what we call as extract, transform, and load. 
And so this use case is specifically designed to help customers move data transformation jobs out of the enterprise data warehouse and shift those into Hadoop so they can get more much efficient, uh, so they can get more efficient, but not only that, they can reduce their cost. And then last but not least, we also have the Dell Quick Start Bundle. Essentially, this what this is, is like it sounds. Uh, if you have a customer that's ready to do a proof of concept and they wanna get up and running very quickly and they need some help, then we produce this Dell Quick Start Bundle that includes one week of services to help them rack and stack it, load the Hadoop distribution, and then get them to that business value. And as you can see here, you know, the benefits here, it's, it's tested, it's validated, it's end-to-end. -end. Uh, there's no coding necessary when you go to the sync sort solution. You don't have to learn Apache Pig or Hive or Scoop. And then not only that, we've validated this value to our customers, and we've done this through a total economic impact study via Forrester. Uh, there, you know, in the back of this uh, presentation, there'll be a resource link, so you can go and study that. But what we were able to find, you know, in our differentiation and our comparison here, is that you know if you look at our ETL off ETL offload solution, we're actually able to save customers seventy percent, seventy six percent on administrative cost over three years. Not only that, we can do data transformation sixty percent faster than they were in the past, and not only that, you can design these jobs fifty four percent faster than doing it on your own. So there's a lot of value here. So what I'd ask you to do is go and re read these principal technologies report, go read these total economic impact studies from Forrester to get the re -de uh, more details around these solutions. So quickly, I wanna to touch upon the architecture just to give you a high level overview of what this is. So when I say a Hadoop cluster, the way Hadoop is built, it's essentially a cluster of servers and that is massively parallel and that's able to chunk up work and do it in a very efficient manner. Now, I'm not going to go uh, essentially, a slide, uh, essentially service by service because we just don't have enough time for that today. But what I want to help you understand is that these blocks, essentially what these blocks notate is a server. And so what you have here is a cluster of servers. You have what we call infrastructure nodes. So these run the services that run your cluster. And then you have data nodes. And these data nodes, consider this is, this is where the work happens. This is where HDFS at the file system runs. And this is where the MapReduce function runs where you're going to do the processing of the data. And so the other key thing here to notice is that, you know, once we have a, cl a cluster in a customer's environment, within the first one and a half years, the cluster tends to triple in size. So when you get that first cluster and get that first use case under your belt, guess what? Hadoop is the essentially gift that keeps on giving to you. So we want to be able to, you know, propose this to our customers, introduce them to our technologies, show them our expertise, show them why we're different and so they trust us. And then essentially, let's keep adding on those use cases so we can continue to help our customers. <clears throat> so quickly, uh, I want to go over the release. Uh, so we recently had a release of Cloudera 5.9. On our side, our updates, as I said earlier, we added the FX2 architecture. We also have a Dell Digital Download Store, where essentially this is where you download the software you purchased from us. And then we also have an automated deployment toolkit that's scripted and allows you to essentially kick off uh, the installation of Hadoop in a much faster manner than doing it manually. And on top of that, we've also updated the Red Hot operating system to 7.2. On the Cloudera side, uh, Cloudera is really focused with this release to essentially make uh, you know, faster, more efficient provisioning of clusters in the public cloud. Uh, they also want to make it easier to access this with Amazon S3. And Hue, and really what they're trying to do here is build a hybrid cloud environment. So you can run some of your Hadoop jobs on premise, and then you can run some of your Hadoop jobs on the cloud for those that need those, what we call those transient Hadoop workloads. And then on top of that, they've increased security with Kafka and Sentry, and then they increased the performance of Impala. For those of you that don't know, Impala is a massively parallel database that's built on the top of Hadoop that gives you sub second query response time. So quickly on the FX2, uh, what we want to help you understand is that we added the FX2 chassis. Along with that, we added the uh, FC630, which is the server blade. And then with that, we've also had the addition of the FD332, which is a storage sled. Now, the thing I want to help you understand is that the configurations are similar to the R730XD. You know, we do have the same processor, you know, memory hard drive count. But the thing that we want to help you understand is that, you know, there are some considerations to take into account with FX2. Uh, with FX2, you know, you have a chassis layout. You don't want to, your master name node and your secondary name node in the same chassis because if that node goes down, you've just lost the cluster. So we just want to be essentially you aware of where you should place these, where you should place your infrastructure nodes and your data nodes, and then make sure that you watch out for failure domains. 
There's much more, more detail into this. We have an architecture document that you can go and read and it'll give you much more detail on you know, things to consider with FX2. Now, quickly, what I like to do is just really help you understand some of the use cases and then give you some customers examples where we've shown the value here and it really made a difference in our customers, uh, you know, environments. So quickly, let's talk about operational efficiency. And so what I mean by operational efficiency, the goal here is to introduce a big data technology and it essentially help customers take that cost out while they're introducing big data. And like you said, this, this looks very familiar to what we said in the earlier in the conversation piece of how you connect that data, analyze that data, and then you act upon that data. And this specific example we're showing here, this is the ETL offload use case that I described to you earlier. And so just to you know reiterate it, you have an enterprise data warehouse that's very expensive to run. And so what you wanna be uh, do is you wanna be smart about what you run in that enterprise data warehouse. And so what a lot of our customers are doing is they're taking these data transformation jobs that are eating up 70% of the capacity and 70% 70, 70 of the performance and shifting those into Hadoop. So that, that way, essentially, their enterprise data warehouse runs more smoothly. You get better read and write times. You can actually run your reports. You can actually query it because you've moved all those jobs into Hadoop and you're letting Hadoop do the hard work. Now, when you look at ETL, it stands for Extract, Transform, and Load. And the way we do that is, you know, I so say we could do with the Cloudera. You also have the sync sort technology that allows you to do, you know, not mess around with the coding of Hive, Pig, or Scoop. We take care of that for you. And then obviously we can offer this in many different flavors. We can have our Hadoop internal DAS offering. Uh, we have Dell EMC offerings, including Isilon storage. Once you have that uh, piece of data in a good ready state to be analyzed, then you put that back into either you know, your enterprise, ready, uh, enterprise data warehouse, your relational management database, your data mart, so that it can either be reported upon or queried. And a couple of use cases where you talk of you know, driving this operational efficiency and doing these data transformation jobs, you know, people do this for business process optimization. We have customers doing this to look at essentially, you know, how their IT resources are doing, you know, capacity, uh, utilization, uh, operational process, how you improve operations, how you reduce the time to do data transformation jobs. And this can be uh, done in a variety of different ways. And then last but not least, not only do we have this use case, but we have the Dell EMC, you know, portfolio to wrap around that, whether that's installation services, consulting service, deployment services, we have management that we can wrap around this. Obviously, we have the best infrastructure to run, run it with PowerEdge networking, PowerEdge servers, uh, Dell EMC Isilon, DSSD. You have you know security features. And then, of course, if customers need help financing, we have Dell Financial Services to get them across the bridge. And so one, you know, one example here, we have Siemens. Uh, so Siemens, uh, they have a cloud-based platform that allows them to do supply chain management. And what Siemens was doing in this is that essentially they came to us and said, hey, what we're doing today isn't working. We can't scale. We're managing multiple databases. Those databases are hard for data to get into because it has to fit in the column or row. What can we do in order to make this different? And what they did is they approached us and they moved their uh, essentially their architecture into a Hadoop architecture. And they, they actually used our reference architecture to build it. And so when you look at this and you know what a, what a difference it made to them, and Manash is, you know, our, the lead, uh, you know, VP there at Siemens. And, you know, what he said here is, you know, early in the process, he just, he knew that he needed a high-performing scalable architecture. He already had a relationship with Dell, and essentially he came to us with Dell uh, architecture and was able to implement, and, you know, it made a big difference in Siemens. And based on this new architecture, they were actually able to not only ingest more data from their customers, give their customers more essentially data points to realize what was going, what was happening in their supply chain management software. But the end result, uh, you know, for this last year is they were able to sell, save their customers 15 to $25 million. So a huge difference for them. So with that, you know, like I said early in the presentation, we're trying to keep this high level. This is just, you know, entry level to get you started, to have, you know, a quick conversation with your customer, get you educated. Uh, but we have a ton of resources out there. So if you look at this slide here, uh, please go visit those re resources. We have everything from so solution sales cards to fact sheets to architecture documents to deployment guides. We put a lot of time and effort in this. And so use these resources so that you can not only educate yourself, but you can also educate your customers and help them understand what Dell EMC brings to the table. And if you need additional information, please go visit our various resources. Uh, we have a website, dell.com Hadoop. Uh, you also have emc.com uh, Big Data. And then if you want to contact us directly, we have an email alias of hadoop at dell.com.
So thank you for your time today. I appreciate it and good selling.